This game is going to be kind of like Space Invaders. Um, I hope I'm actually correct in that statement. I'm not 100% sure what Space Invaders is, but um, hey, you know, I, 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 think, I think I'm correct. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, uh, I've heard it somewhere, and I, th I, I think that's what we're making. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, call the project Trillo. So, I mean, I just, I just figured I'd, I'd, I'd name it Trillo. It seems like a, like a fun, cool, mo um, you know, hip name. For it, so let's you know. I don't know. Maybe name it Trillo. Hopefully, there isn't some kind of some company named Trillo that's gonna you know sue me or anything. All right. Um, okay, let's create our main class. All right, and it's going to be the uh, the class where we're gonna have the main method. All right, main method, simple stuff. I'm taking an awful lot of time to type up the main method. All right, there we go. So now we're ready to actually start. All right. So first of all, I have my uh, all my game, you know, graphics here. These graphics are pretty advanced. They took me like uh, five hours to create each. So uh, first of all, we have our ball here. So that's uh, you know, just a picture of a soccer ball. Um, that definitely took took the longest. Then we have a blue square here. Now this, of course, was uh, is just a work of art. Um, and then also a green square, of course, that uh, I had to start completely from scratch there. Um, we also have a paddle here, which um, is, this, is, is, is a paddle. Um, yeah. <laughs> then we also have a red square. Um, and finally, we have a yellow square as well, because, I mean, you can't leave out yellow. All right, there we go. So um, that's the, uh, the art for this, um, for this game. Now let's go ahead and actually start... So of course all of these, um, you know, um, data, you know, graphics will be available um, in a link below the video. Um, but uh, let's start actually writing. So let's uh, create our J frame here. Okay. Uh, let's call this uh, Trillo. Don't know what I why I chose the name Trillo. It's a weird name, but you know. It'll do. All right. So now let's import the J frames. This is going to go ahead and be the uh, the main frame of our um, of our game. So of course we are going to be doing this in Swing as well. So now that we have our main method created, we're going to go ahead and also create another another class here, and this is just going to be a block breaker panel. So essentially, the game is going to be sort of like a, where we break, break blocks, sort of. So that's the whole idea. You're going to see as as we go along um, what exactly the, the point here is. Okay. So now um, let's actually go and implement block block breaker panel. Um, okay. And so here, block breaker panel is going to go ahead and extend. Whoops, extends. Uh, J panel. And implement key listener. Whoops, key listener. So by doing this, it's actually going to allow us to actually use and implement. So it's going to allow us to use this block breaker panel um, as an actual panel. So let's go and add the unimplemented methods, and then the key listener will just allow us to use this to add in um, for the key. So essentially, to listen for uh, when we press a key um, to actually do something. So let's go ahead and actually uh, add the unimplemented methods of the key listener. All right, there we go. So we have key typed, key press, and now let's also add a constructor here. So block breaker panel. All right, there we go. And uh, so now that we have that done, we can go ahead and actually go ahead and add in a uh, a new class here, and it's actually going to be a block. All right, there we go. So now let's go to implement block. So block is going to extend rectangle. All right, now let's go ahead and import rectangle from uh, java.awt. All right, there we go. So we are going to, of course going to be using a uh, rectangle um, rectangle uh, I'm sorry, not rectangle, AWT elements, since we can use them. Um, 
So we're going to create an image picture. This is going to be the actual um, image for our block. from AWT as well. Make sure that you have a keep all your um, imports consistent. Okay, and then here we're also going to add a constructor for block. There we go. And in the constructor, we're going to take int a, int b, you're going to see why we need this in a second here, int w, and int h. Also a string s as well. So a is going to be the x coordinate, so the uh, the x coordinate of our block. B is going to be the y coordinate of our block. Uh, w is going to be with the width, and then h is going to be the height. So it's pretty simple stuff. And then a string s is going to be just the uh, the location of the uh, the location of the uh, image that's going to actually go ahead and be the. All right. So now that we have that done, let's also add another method here. This is going to be the uh, public void draw method. And it's going to take in graphics G as input and component C as well. All right, there we go. It's also taking the component as input as well. All right. Okay, there we go. So now also here, we're going to add a field This is going to be Boolean destroyed. So essentially, when our actual um, when our actual game is going to go ahead and uh, the ball is going to hit a block, it's going to destroy the block. So that's why we need to add a destroyed here. So here in destroyed, what we're going to go ahead and do is if destroyed, Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, do g dot draw image. Okay, and we don't really need, we don't need all the all of these. We're just going to do um, picture. This is the picture right here. Okay, then x comma y and then x y width and height, and then finally we're going to draw in the component. So this is going to be the component there. Okay, so other than that, then that should be good. Now let's go ahead and actually add in these variables here. Um, so let's do, let's see, let's do something like uh, int x equals, we can just do int x comma y. Okay, then do x equals one. Actually, no, x equals, um, yeah, right. This dot x equals x, and then this dot y equals y. Um, okay, on the other hand, though, in rectangle, we should in theory, yes, we already have this um, um, x coordinate. So let's not let's not override that here. Let's just do um, uh, pos x like that pos pos x and then pos y. All right, there we go. That's just just that's just make it uh, a little better. There we go. Pos x and pos y. And then here, uh, let's do yeah, pos x and then position y. All right, let's do the same thing for width and height. Int width, comma, uh, height. This dot width equals w, and then this dot height equals height. Here we go. And here we're going to do width, comma, height. All right, and there we go. That should be good. Um, so now it's going to go ahead and draw the block if uh, you know it's not destroyed. Okay, so that's looking good. We're getting there. Um, now let's actually go ahead and assign the picture to the actual string, to the actual uh, location that we, uh, you know, got from it. So we're going to do picture Im equals image io dot read new file, and then here we're going to do s. So this is going to be the uh, location that we actually pass in. Let's import file. There we go, looking good. And let's sort of start on this with a try catch block. All right, and there we go. All right, so that's going to go ahead and read the uh, actual image from our file system and then assign that to the actual picture. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, looking good. Um, let's move on now. Let's go back to uh, block breaker panel. Okay. And here in block breaker panel, 
we can now move on and uh, do um, block paddle equals new block. And let's just assign um, something for the x and y coordinates like 175 and 480. All right, and then now we got to assign width and height. Let's do 150 and then 25 also. And then finally, for the um, location, we're going to do uh, this paddle.png. Paddle.png. There we go. That's going to be what's going to be moving on, on, on the bottom of the screen. Okay, okay. So um, looks good. Looks good. So that's the paddle there. Um, now we should be able to just go ahead and do something like um, add key listener. This, there we go. So it's going to add this class as the key listener. And we can do this because it implements key listener. So that's why we can do that. And then also let's uh, set focusable to true. All right, so what the set focusable is going to do is just going to make sure that we can actually focus on the component. Um, you're going to see what that means in, uh, once we actually get this get this running here. Okay, so other than that, then that should be good. We should be good to go. Now let's actually go, go ahead and go back to main, finally configure some of the things in main here that we need to. Um, so let's do a uh, block breaker panel. Uh, panel, panel equals new block breaker panel. All right, there we go. Now let's do frame dot get content pane dot add panel. Whoops, don't need the constraints here. Panel. All right, there we go. Now let's go ahead and do frame dot whoops frame dot set uh, default close operation j frame dot exit on close. All right, there we go. That's going to make it so that we can actually exit um, when we do go ahead and click the. All right, there we go. Now let's go ahead and also do a uh, frame dot um, set uh, visible to true. So that's actually going to show us the frame. Then let's do a uh, frame dot set size to 490 by uh, 600 pixels. Just uh, assuming roughly that's what we want. There we go. Okay, now let's also do frame dot set resizable and let's set that to false. So we're not going to be able to resize the actual window. So now we can actually go to run this. All right, and there we go. So here we have our Trillo app. As you can see, we can't resize it because we set resizable to false. And so we do have an error here. Um, so right now we're getting an I.O. exception, so we can't read the uh, the input file. Um, so that's because right here in our block.java, um, instead of doing new file s, we need to do new file um, src slash plus s. Since it does, it, it does start looking for the actual files in the project and not the src folder. So now when we run this now, it should be good to go. All right, and there we go. So you can see no more error. So we aren't actually receiving anything to the screen, but we don't get the errors. That's already good. So we did find the file. And now we can actually go ahead and start implementing um, the other parts of this application. But we're going to take And uh, I'll see you then. Till soon. Which, which is going to go ahead and uh, actually make our application run. This is sort of like the, the main part of our application. OK. So let's start off by uh, going ahead and creating an array list of blocks. So, our, whoops, uh, right, array list. So this is going to be our actual blocks here. Array list block uh, blocks equals new array list here of blocks. There we go. Let's import array list. Okay, looks good. All right, and now that we've done that, we can go ahead and uh, do uh, block ball equals new block here. Okay, so this is going to be our actual um, ball that's going to be flying across the screen. So here, let's just do something like um, 
let's see, um, 237 for the X position. Um, let's do uh, something like maybe 4, 435 for the Y position. So I'm just thinking about where exactly this will go. And let's just do something like 25 and 25 for the uh, for the size. Um, and now let's uh, assign it the uh, the value here. So if we go to Trillo here, we can see that it's uh, ball.png. All right, there we go. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, yeah, now that we have that done, that's good. Um, we actually, we're actually gonna take this paddle out also up here. Yeah, there we go, that should be good to go. All right, so now that we've done that, we can actually go and actually start running this and maybe adding some of these components, actually. So first of all, let's go ahead and uh, go to our default package. We're gonna create a new class here. And this class is going to be called animate. All right, there we go. So in this animate class, the idea is that what's going to be is there's going to be a runnable thread. What's actually going to be a runnable that's going to run in a thread. And this actually is going to go and update our um, actual block block breaker panel right here, this class right here, every 10 milliseconds or so. So let's go and uh, assign it the block breaker panel. So block breaker panel p, something like that. And let's go and um, yeah, add an implemented method of the runnable interface. There we go. And here in run, all we have to do is a uh, while true. Uh, let's see, let's do block, block, uh, block breaker, there we go, do it like that, block breaker, dot, um, and then update. So we don't have the, uh, the update method here yet. Let's go ahead and implement that update method. Uh, I think we can just do uh, like this, there we go. Um, there we go, create method update, there we go. So now that we have this update method. So we didn't actually implement that, don't worry, we'll get to that as well. Let's put it up here actually, just like that, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then here after that, we're gonna do try thread.sleep, 10 milliseconds, um, and then catch, um, I think it's interrupted exception. Exception, yeah, it's interrupted exception. All right, there we go. We're just gonna do in e dot print stack trace. All right, okay, looks good. Uh, what seems to be the problem with the update method here? Yeah, we just save that. There we go. Set up the Okay, so that's good. So now we have uh, we have our animate ready. Now let's go ahead and go to our block breaker panel, and we're gonna go ahead and actually implement um, it actually running this this thread. So to do this, we're gonna go ahead and go to create a method here public void paint component graphics g and this is actually going to go ahead and override it so we don't need to call it anywhere let's import graphics there we go and here for now all we're going to do is we're going to do paddle dot draw and pass in this graphics g and then also for the component we're just going to pass in this and there we go it's simple as that it's going to draw the paddle on this graphics and this is going to be the component itself so that's actually what that's what that's going to do. So yeah, that's what he's going to it's going to draw the image there uh, with all this data. Now what we can actually do is go ahead and remove this pos x and pos y. We don't actually need that. And then also same with width and height. And instead, of just do this dot x and then this dot y as well. Um, and then same with width and height. Um, they're already built in from what we extend. So I I, 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 would, I was just thinking about it, and there's really no point in doing that. Um, so yeah, so let's also update this to x and y as well. So we just, um, so yeah, a rectangle, when you extend it, rectangle already has the public int x and public int y, and same for width and height. So we don't actually need to go ahead and, uh, you know, redeclare the variables there. So it just makes sense to do it this way. It's just um, cleaner and, you know, just better as a whole. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and uh, move on here. So we draw the paddle. Um, now we actually need to go ahead and run the thread. So we're gonna do that in um, keep pressed here, right here. So yeah, so right here we're gonna do keep pressed. So we're gonna do if um, e dot get key code um, is equal to key event dot vk enter. So when the user actually presses enter, so we, when we press the enter key, it's going to go ahead and uh, actually perform this code right here. So let's create an animate um, obje um, object here. 
animate animate there we go all right and then down here we can just do animate dot um, no animate equals new animate and then pass in this as input all right there we go um, yeah so we forgot totally forgot to create the uh, the uh, constructor and animate here so let's do public animate and block breaker panel block um, BP I guess that'll work um, so now we can just do this dot block breaker equals BP all right there we go that looks good so now that should be good all right there we go now we're going to do um, thread T equals new thread animate what we can actually do is do some uh, some Java 8 programming here and just do um, new thread uh, pass in a lambda function here and then just copy in whoops put this right here there we go um, and then just copy in what well, we have an animate here so this run method All right there we go so we can just copy that in that's gonna hopefully be a bit cleaner okay now we can also just go ahead and uh, actually just call the update method right in here all right, and then that's going to call this update method right here. There we go. Well, whoops, I don't, don't need that. There we go. Um, okay, so we seem to have an error here. Um, yeah, so we got a E duplicate parameter. Oh, yeah, so we have a key event here, and then we also have a, so let's just do ERR here. ERR, there we go. All right, so that should be good to go. Um, so that's, that's what is going to go ahead and happen, ha happen when we press the, uh, the enter key. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of a Java 8 programming in... Um, in Java 10, that's always great. Okay, and uh, other than that, then we should, in theory, be good to go um, actually running this application. So let's go ahead and actually do that. Um, I'll turn this. All right, and there we go. So you can see now we have this, uh, this bar here, and we can actually now do enter, and now the thread, in theory, it should be running. Um, we don't have anything that's actually happening right now, but we can just do something like... Um, System dot out dot println uh, running just to make sure that it's actually working here. So let's run that and then enter. Oh, all oh, right. Okay, I'm a doofus. Um, here when we do new thread, um, after that we need to do dot start. There we go. And now it should actually run. So let's now run this and then press enter. And now as you can see, it's actually running. Okay, so let's close that. We can remove that for system on and there we go. So we actually got our application running. We can actually delete animate now. We don't really need it. So yeah, that's just um I updated it a little bit, you know, just did it the old fashioned way and then showed you to do it the the new fashioned way also. So that's always, you know, always good. Um so it's like sort of like a accidental accidental um happy accident there. <laughs> okay. But anyway, um uh what what seems to be the the, the problem we got an error here oh no, no all right but anyway so that's all for this lesson next time we're going to start going over um actually adding the logic for moving the paddle and maybe adding the actual um, block and ball logic but uh, yeah other than that i'm going to see you there till soon